right, what's up? So, um, I've been having issues with my trackhawk when I'm going down the road. It would sway uh, at a certain speed if I got too high. Well, I got to noticing that my back tire was close, closer to this side than the other side. And then I happened to look up here and see there is, uh, let me get the light on it. The tire had been rubbing. Well, come to find out, the bearing in here is bad. So, all right, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with everything um, that you need to do, but uh, your disc that's on here, there's a little rubber, uh, little rubber thing that goes on here, goes around here like that. You're gonna pull that off with a screwdriver. Then um, you may have to put some penetrating lube in here and kind of hit it with a, with a hammer. I actually had to take and heat my uh, rotor up and then tap it and it came off. So um, after you do that, you're gonna remove some bolts. Uh, you're gonna remove this one, this one, and then uh, this one over here to swing this uh the assembly out of the way so you can get the drive shaft out and then uh once i do that we'll be back all right took those bolts off 18 millimeters you're gonna have to use two uh took that one off that one off and then i had to beat on the inside of the uh spline or the axle shaft uh in there to get it to pop out and then uh well uh next thing i'm gonna be doing is applying the uh, hub removal tool on here, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. All right, so here's the tool. You can rent this from AutoZone, uh, which is awesome. It's about uh, $280, you can buy it. So anyways, once you get the spline off, you're gonna put this behind these on both sides, and you'll bring it up, and then it's gonna get where you can run this through the, the center. All right, now once you do that, you gotta figure out here on the back what size one of these that you need. Chaka, what are you doing? And then uh, once you get those out of the way, once you can figure out what you need, then you just tighten it down and voila, she comes off. So let's see how easy it is. Okay guys and gals, if you're watching this. Um, so first thing, this right here is what you use. Um, you're gonna use this at first to pull your pulley off and so it's gonna go, it's gonna sit here. So I'm trying to explain how you would take the uh, the hub off. You use that tool to take it off initially. Then when you're putting everything on, you're just gonna put that aside and then use that to uh, push the, uh, the uh, bearing in and then the hub back in. And when you're putting this bearing back in, there's two sides. There's a metal side and a rubber side. So that rubber side is the side that goes in to the hub uh, for the ABS sensor. I accidentally cut the audio out of this next like couple seconds, but it, it cuts back in here. And it's going to go on the back just like this. Okay. Then, uh, well, next thing you're going to do is find... So this piece right here, this is for your ABS sensor, the rubber part. So that's going to face on the inside right there, okay? So first what you want to do is make sure you get a tool that's going to reach all of the, the bearings. That way you don't, uh, let's see, I know I got one somewhere right here. Yeah, so this is going to sit, well, I probably need one a little bigger. That. What I'm see. trying to explain is you just need a washer that's going to cover that bearing up completely but still allow it to slide into okay. the hub. So we'll do that one. Um, okay, so that one. Because otherwise you can you can mess that. up that uh, so, the bearing. So, we got this sitting. Excuse me here. It's going to go right there. And you're going to do this one. Okay, so we're going to run through there. And one of the things... Another thing that will make this a little bit easier, I apologize, I don't have it with me, let me get it. Is you're gonna put a little heat on it. And uh, I'll fast forward some of this, so it won't bore you. But, um, yeah. warm this up a little bit. I 
that should be good. Doesn't need to be too much on there. Like I said, just enough. Okay, got that. Get all this stuff off. Okay, now once we get that, we gotta get this bolt on the back here. Oops. Come on now. Also, make sure you're getting that, that bearing as flush as you can before you start snugging down on that bolt. Um, I mean, it, it should go in there, but um, yeah, just try to get it as flush as you can, even around all sides while you're trying to snug that bolt up. Just to help me get started. Okay, there we go. All right, there's that one in place. Okay, we got you in place. Okay. sure it's seated all the way on there like centered you're gonna be able to tell when it's all the way seated because the sound is gonna change you'll hear it here in just a second get this thing set up real quick Peasies. Lemon squeezies, guys. It's that easy. Once that thing's frozen like that, it's just that easy to get on there. Um, okay, so, all right, we've got that on there. Now, uh, snap ring goes in. that snap ring just now while I'm sitting here messing with the snap ring uh, the next part that I uh, didn't do is make sure you put the dust cover on before you go sliding that uh, hub in there uh, or you're gonna have to uh, either pull it out or make an adjustment like I did to do now once so I what I was trying to explain here uh, is how you pull that Monday, hub out. Uh, um, you want just that. One thing I do a washer or something that's just big off, enough to fit on the back of the uh, hub. Um, so right when, here, you, when you go to pull it out, that, that spline's going to come out. And then you'll see what I'm kind of doing here. It's going to be in uh, here. And I'm trying to say when you're that, that the out, diameter of that part sure is all you want. You don't want anything touching where I'm pointing at right now. It's going to be on right the, here. the inner part you of that uh, hub, only whatever on it's called. The hub part. You'll see what so I'm getting ready to show down, you. Sucks, I put a bolt through there that's going to show you kind of this what I'm going to do, what you need to do when you're pulling this off. Pretend like like this is the spline. It's just going to push on it, push on it. So you just want the washer just on the little part of the bolt, and then you leave it in there covers the the bearing otherwise the bearing is going to pop out of the back right here so i think i've got something right here that'll do it that should do it i think and then uh yeah so uh let me pause this real quick get set up and then we'll get going then i'm gonna put this long boy right here through okay Oops, wrong way uh i did this the wrong way sorry <clears throat> Just disregard what I said. Let me grab the right one here. Here we go. Here's okay. where I should be telling myself, no. throw the dust cover on, this. throw the dust cover on, I'll you idiot. There. Okay, then you're gonna put this through there. Okay. Then that is gonna go through here just like so. You're gonna tighten the bolt down. Not like that. Oh, this is taking forever. 
I'll speed this part up. Don't worry, guys. You can tell it's done because <clears throat> it's cinched down like that. Now we just back this baby off. Okay, take those off. And we're done with that press. You can also tell it's on there now from the, the change. Part, it sounds like it's hollow to it go this. into like a, be getting this a more uh, solid sound. Axle spline back in here. Which, there we go. All right. Okay. Oh, it wasn't too bad, was it? Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right. So, got that done. Now we just gotta figure out what bolts go, bolts go where, right? I think this one goes. That one. What you doing? Huh? <clears throat> oh, da -da. All right, I'm gonna make sure. to pause it real quick i gotta look at the other side and make sure i'm doing something right all right i don't know if this is gonna work but i'm gonna try it so i cut it right there and slide it on here okay i don't know what we'll see. that was doing but um anyways i the video stops there i i was able to get everything back on i got so frustrated i just i didn't record anything else but i got everything on um except for that emergency break i have to uh I've got to take it back off eventually and put it back on there because I screwed up. That was another thing I was going to say is um, after you put that dust cover, that's when you put put that uh, the e-brake on uh, the little disc or the shoes. Like is that is going to be? There's no way you can do it if you if you throw that hub on there. So um, yeah, so make sure you uh, do that first. And I'll I'm going to do another video. This is kind of the first long video I've done like this in a while. And I apologize, it's kind of here and there, but uh, I'll, I'll make the next one I do will be a little bit more. I think the next one I'm do, that I do, I'm just going to record it all the way through, and then I'll just cut out cut out the bits that I don't use. That makes more sense. That's what I should have done in the first place. But, anyways, I uh, hope this helps anybody. Um, and 
If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't.